it's important we stick together in these times of difficulty. In recent news, a group of rebels were caught distributing creative materials. I can't believe the government would do something like this. I know, right? It's crazy. You guys know why the government is doing this, right? They don't want us to realize their corruption, and they don't want us to grow creatively. They don't want to facilitate innovation at all. Imagine that we're sheep and they're the shepherds. They want to mindlessly control our every action. Basically, it's a dictatorship. They don't want to see us win. Yeah, but what's so wrong about what they're doing? What? How could you say something like that? What they're doing is obviously unethical. Whoa, Mariam. Don't be so harsh on him. He's new and obviously doesn't know any better. So, uh, what else is going on? We could talk about Thursday. Yeah, let's talk about Thursday. What's going on Thursday? No, uh, it's nothing. We're just going to hang out. Let's talk about the New York. Hey, Andrew, wanna come check out the piano? Sure. So this right here is a minor chord. Go ahead, try it. You touch that, you die. You can watch if you want, but please don't touch anything. Um, hey man, do you know where everyone is? Yeah, they were arrested. Arrest? Arrested? What? Why? Well, didn't you know about their plans? Plans? What plans? Well, you know how they went to the abandoned junkyard? Well, they were caught. They were caught? How? Well, don't you know that's where they get their supplies and materials from? Well, whatever, they're probably not going to be back anyway, so feel free to poke around at their stuff. Guess there's nothing else to do. Hey, so this is going to be kind of long, but hear me out. It's been seven weeks since you've been arrested, and I found myself coming back to the hideout almost every day. As I started to learn more about each of you, I began to understand why having a place like this is so important. Initially, I believed that the rules the government set in place were only for our own benefit. Mariam, I listened to some of your old recordings, and they inspired me to host the podcast in your absence. Your voice is the loudest when it comes to speaking the truth and standing up for injustice. Rahul, as standoffish as you are, I know that you have a lot going on up there. When you put on your headphones to block out all the noise, I can see that you're trying to solve all the mysteries of the world we're living in. Tipu, I tried playing your piano a few times, and I still haven't gotten the hang of it. Your song that you wrote about the struggles of the rebels really opened my eyes to the reality of our situation. Luna, I know that you don't like people touching your stuff, but I sort of touch it anyway. I saw some of your finished paintings, and I must say, not bad. I'm not going to say that I completely understand what you were painting, because I don't. But what I am starting to understand is what you and the rest of our friends were fighting for. A chance at individuality, a chance to be unique, and a chance to be you. I know you might never read this, but I just wanted to thank you for showing me what life is really like. You showed me that I don't have to fear punishment for doing something that I'm passionate about, even if the government doesn't like it. I'm starting to understand why living the way you did was worth risking punishment. At first, I didn't understand why you were willing to live this way. I thought that you were wasting your life on doing things that were trivial and even dangerous, but now, even though I've only scratched the surface, I can see that I was the one that wasn't living. I think that's what I want to do now, to continue to learn how to live. Oh my god! What happened to you guys? I was so worried! Guys, what happened? I was so worried. I heard you guys got locked up and I tried to write to you guys. I was so worried. What do you want? Just leave us alone. Why do you even care? Yeah, yeah, just go. None of us even belong here anymore. You don't know what we've been through. For seven weeks, they've been trying to brainwash us. Just look at our wood. Let's just go. Wait, where are you guys going? Luna, wait, what are you doing? This is your art stuff. Look, you painted this. Why are you throwing it away? So, that doesn't mean it's good. By the way, it's really good to have this stuff. Move, Andrew. Just let us throw this stuff away. We found this stuff in the junkyard, and that's where it belongs. No, it doesn't. Since when did doing what you like become not important? It became important to me. 
We weren't doing anything revolutionary. We're not prodigies, Andrew. I just have these stupid books. She likes talking to a broken microphone, and he's playing the wrong keys every single day. I can't believe we risk being arrested for all this irrelevant stuff. What, what does being a prodigy have to do with living your life? That's what this is. You're just living your life. I know these are just simple things, but I don't know why you're saying you're bad or whatever this is. Doing this made you happy. They gave meaning to your life. Well, what are you supposed to do? Well... Wants and desires. The seeds of life. Once a person stops wanting things, he begins to die. He no longer strives for anything. He begins to shrink. My friends, you discovered your passions that brought purpose and honor to your life. Yeah, I know that you're not prodigies and that this was only for fun, but there was a light that radiated from you whenever you were doing the things that you loved. You must nourish those talents within and inspire others to do the same. I'm grateful to you for welcoming me into your secret world. You helped me in discovering my own passion. I know that right now you feel defeated after everything that happened. You're scared of what will happen if you dare to pursue your dreams again. But if you don't, and you embrace a self-deprecating attitude instead, then you'll be left without honor and dignity. I refuse to let this happen though. I will remain by your side, and I will keep reminding you to nourish your talents. I will not let you live a life in which you don't honor your talents. Yours truly, Andrew.